Hello friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can implement search search delegate in our list. So here as you can see, I have created an empty project with a animal list. And on the corner, on the top of the corner, I have added a icon button. So on press on clicking on this icon button, we will open our search delegate to search through this animal list. Now before creating the search delegate, let's see how search delegate works. So here you can see complete documentation that how search delegate class works and how you can implement so search function. So let's implement search delegate. Let's create one dart page search dot dart now here we will import our material dot dart class let's add a class you can name it what whatever you want i am just naming it as a search and extend our search delegate so when you extend search delegate, you have to implement four missing overrides. So when you click on this little bulb icon, we can add missing overrides to our search class. So first of all, this is first function is used for build action. When so build action basically shows you an action button on top of the search delegate page let's remove it and also we can add leading action button so leading action button will shows on the left hand side corner and build action button will show closing button on right hand side now let's add build result so here in this section we will show the search result and build suggestion in this section we will show the build suggestions when user is typing something we will show the list of suggestions that user can click on so here i am passing my data to the search class and here we can create suggestion list so when user is typing something we can show them list so here i have created build suggestion list now it's time for creating build result So here we can use so search function and pass our newly created search delegate just type our class name which is search in my case so here we can see our search delegate open with leading and action button and when we type something it shows the text box named results which is in our build result function let me create this icon button to clear our query when we click on this delete button or we can say close button So inside when we extend search delegate class we can use query variable to show our query parameters. On the back button we are closing our search delegate page.
to close our search delegate we just simply can add navigator dot of context dot pop so now let's type something and let's clear the result and close okay. so leading an action button not working now it's time to create search result let's create one more empty list to show the search result and let's loop through all the list we have and we simply just write a function to compare each element with the type query or typed user input so when query meets when e dot contains is true we can simply add it to our list and after adding our list we can return list view builder with the result list Also, we will add one more if else condition to check if list if search is not empty. So here we can say add get okay. So I forgot to convert it into lowercase. Let's try again. Search, get, and search. So here we can see our search result. We can type O. Here we can also add empty empty result if we if search query is not within our list we can just simply pass no result found or no result right? like this one So I just copied this code two times so we can show build suggestions dynamically when user is typing. Here I forgot to change the list. So let's change it to suggestion list and add result into suggestion list. And show here the suggestion list inside our list.builder. So when user is typing something you can see the suggestions available in our data list so let's try it again forgot to change the length parameter item count okay let's type again monkey when i type mon i can see the result set in suggestions right so that's it for this video i hope this video will help you to build your own search delegate by using search delegate class thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next better tutorial bye bye